Hi everyone. So we have a new feature called Task Asset Fields. This is a great way to keep track of the service history of your assets when used on tasks because you can record additional information using custom fields. So currently asset custom fields display on asset cards. However, this new feature is going to take it a step further as you'll have relevant fields for that asset relating to that particular visit. So for example, you could have the date of the asset's last service, temperature recording, a tick box to say checks have been completed, uh, an extra notes field or a photo of the asset at the time of inspection. Currently to record this information, you'd need to add forms to each asset on each task. So if you're currently doing this, this new feature is going to be a huge time saver for you. So when setting up task asset fields, you can apply it to task types, assets belonging to certain asset types, a combination of the two. So in other words, this task type plus this asset type, or you can have it for all assets, no matter what task type or asset type. You can also make fields required, which means the task can't be completed unless the required fields have been filled out. The example we're going to be working with is an air conditioner unit, which has one set of checks for an install task, but another set of checks for a service call. Our help documentation has further examples and use case for you to look at. So feel free to have a look at those. Now let's dive in and look at setting up these fields. Okay, so now we're just going to walk you through how to actually set up your task asset fields. So the example we used was an air conditioner unit having one set of checks for a service task, but another set of checks for an install task. So we're going to run you through how to set those up. So management users can set up task asset fields. Um, so we're going to go into your site administration settings and start typing task asset fields and you'll see them come up under the asset settings. Um, now I've created some already, so um, I'll walk you through how to set one up. So we've got two fields for install and two for service. So for an install, I've got warranty given and I've got temperature check. And then for a service, I chose warranty period. And then we've also got a photo of asset. Now I've put this for all task types. So let's walk you through how to actually set one up. So we're gonna add a custom field, give your field a name. Now you can do this in any order. If you wanna do your task types first, that's okay. Um, you can also set them on particular asset types. So I'm not gonna be doing that for this example, but you can set that up as well as I specified before. Um, so you'd give your field a name, um, choose a type. So you've got a numeric field, documents and photos, date field, uh, radio, select box. Again, choose your asset type and choose your task type. If you don't choose any of this, then it means it's going to apply for all your tasks. And then you can also set one to be required as well, which you'll see in a minute. As you'll see, I've selected this one for required and also this one here. Okay, so now we're actually going to look at how this looks like in Office and in Field. Okay, so now we're going to look like what these fields look like in the Office interface. So we've got this warranty given should be coming up on an install job. We've also got the temperature check and we've got this photo of asset which appears on all tasks and all asset types. And then our service job, we've got temperature check again. And then again, photo of asset which is coming up for everything. So let's have a look at what that looks like. So we're going to jump into your Office site. We're going to create a task. And yes, install is my first one. And we're going to also see what this assets tab looks like now. This has also been, uh, this is all brand new here. So I'm going to add an asset. And once I save, you'll see what this looks like now. So this has had a bit of a improvement. So we've got custom fields, forms, notes, quotes, and escalate. These are all now in tabs. Um, and it starts off with custom fields. Now, this is also important. We've got it defaults to show all required fields. Okay, so if you've got any required fields here, which we've got one, you'll see this first. You can also show all the fields. So if you've got other fields, which in this case we do, these all show. You can also hide all the fields. Now, if you choose hide all fields, you can overwrite this per asset by clicking on the down arrow to show all of them. Or alternatively for all assets, you can just go show all fields. Okay, so show all required fields. We're gonna say, yes, we've given the warranty and we're gonna save the task. And if you have a required field, if you try to close this task without filling that out, you'll see it's going to tell you to save that. 
Okay, so these are all of our fields for the install. And if we create a service task, we should see those other fields that we mentioned. Okay, so once again, add an asset. We're just going to add the same one we had before. Oops. And here we go. So you'll see we've got a different field there. And again, show all fields. We've got these other fields here to fill out. Okay, so now we're going to have a look at like what this looks like in Arrowflow field. Okay, so now we're just going to briefly walk you through what this looks like in Arrowflow field. So we'll choose my service task, which I, which I just showed you in Office. So we're going to go more, we're going to go assets. And so as you'll see, we've got our show required assets coming up first. And if you want to show all of them, you can either click show all fields and then switch between them here, show only required fields or go to the page settings here and we've got a set default asset view and we've got show all required fields you can change this to show all fields and again this applies for all your assets and again just fill out the fields you need to and save if you've got any required fields you'll need to fill those out before completing the task okay so now i'm going to walk you through how to access your task asset fields on a layout um, so let's open up that task we were working on which was the service task and let's access our layout on the bottom here so what we're going to do on any layout that you want to edit we need to add this table now for now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create a blank layout just to make it a bit easier and i'm going to show you the table to add so let's click on tables let's search for task asset so it's task asset custom fields this is the table that you want to add and let's actually just save this and I'll walk you through the fields task asset table I won't call this one and let's just preview that okay so already it's pretty much got everything you need here so it's got name of the asset you'll see your task asset fields by default appear underneath and then you've got your pass fail or NA so of course you can edit this if you need to. You can edit the columns. Uh, your task asset fields are over here, CF, TAS. Now, if you're using this table and you want to have them running across the page, you'll need to click hide field list and then you can add your fields as you need to. And let's just save that and I'll show you what that looks like and you'll see so those two are running across and however by default you won't need to do that you can just use the table as it is and make sure this hide field list is unticked just to make this feature easier for you we've also given you access to these two reports so we've got asset report simple and asset report detailed and these have come standard with an Arrowflow now so asset report simple just has your assets and it has pass fail NA and asset report detailed gives you that table which I was just telling you about so you've got pass fail NA at the top and then you've got your task asset fields uh, along the side here so feel free to use these in your layouts all right so lastly I'm going to walk you through how to add these to your reports so we're going to click on reports we're going to go to task reports this one I'm just going to go all open task but of course you can choose a pre-made report if you want to and to add your task asset fields we're going to go customize we're going to go fields and we're going to go CF so CF is your custom fields and in this case we're going to go TAS there we go they're all appearing at the bottom here so these are all of our custom fields that we've added so photo of asset I'm just going to add them all here and then refresh and you should see them all coming up here of course, you can reorder these, do whatever you need to. And we've only ever filled out one of them, and it tells you that I've filled out the warranty given here. Um, 
and if you've got any photos and whatnot they'll all appear here as well okay so just to recap cftas is you're going to be your task asset custom fields